Nice sunset. Would have been nicer if we found some gold today, but oh, still sure. pretty nice. <laughs> Bad day in Maine is still a good day. I was just walking along the beach and out behind this house, I stumbled on this awesome cannon from 1731. Man, is this thing awesome. Well, I got up early again to try to go to this flea market. Last time I got here at 7 and there were already a million people here buying all the good stuff. And this morning, <laughs> there's one vendor, another vendor, they haven't set anything up, and there's literally nobody in the parking lot. So, I have first pick of nothing. Two hours later, wasted two hours, nothing here. I just came back from Maine, I tried to do a little metal detecting up there, and I really didn't have any luck at all, so I decided instead that I would knock on some doors, and go to a few flea markets and see what I could find to buy to bring down to the flea markets down by New York City. Uh, I'll be heading down there in a couple of weeks. Um, we also have a big one coming up in Massachusetts. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through what I bought. I did find a few really good things. Um, one of them is a horse painting that's at the house already. I dropped it off. I should have put it on the video, so maybe I'll splice it in after. Um, and the rest of the stuff is uh, just here. I'm unloading the stuff at the storage unit and it's boiling hot, so hopefully we can get it done quickly. So here's one of the coolest things I found. It's actually a giant brass tray. I can put my hand in there for scale. It's about 45 inches in diameter, and the side pieces are all actually cut through. The rest of this work is done with some kind of tooling. I think all done all by hand. Um, and I paid $30 for it at a small flea market, and I, the nearest thing I can find online looks to be worth about a thousand dollars it is a part of a table for cocktails um, and it's but it's missing it had like some folding leg system that it sat on so I have to see if I can find uh, anything online suitable that I can put it together and then sell the whole thing I got this old world soap box soap boxes are always good um, even though I can see now that some kid scribbled on it still good um, I paid eight dollars for it. Uh, it probably will sell for 50 bucks. This is really cool actually. This uh, old souvenir book from Worcester and you see a lot of these souvenir books and they're typically not that old but I was surprised I, I opened it up to look at the views and it just seemed like it was earlier than the ones I was used to seeing and it does have a copyright date inside from 1889. So I have no idea what the value of this thing is. I paid five dollars for it. I have a small space in Worcester where I sell stuff and I just bought it because I thought somebody there would like it. Um, so I don't know what the value is. We'll have to look it up and check it out. All right, found this nice pine desk. Folding top. Just a plain desk. I paid twenty dollars for it. I'll probably sell it for seventy five. Uh, this is really a project. I'm sure Kate's gonna absolutely hate me because all the knobs are broken. The drawers are half busted. There's one drawer missing, but it was 20 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. After she's done fixing it, I'm sure it'll probably be $150 or somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, you could paint it white and then someone will buy it in a second. Um, nice pair of old skis I'll have to hang on to until December to sell. They were 22 bucks, probably like a $50 decorative item down in Connecticut. Uh, the value's all relative, of course. This is a box of paper, most of it dating from the early 1900s, 1930s, but there was some older stuff in here. This is a copy of a newspaper um, that I found folded up in there, and it's actually uh, from uh, Belfast, Maine, from 1845. So that's kind of a neat thing. The paper's pretty heavy, too. It's like almost more like a cotton. Um, and then this is one of my favorite items I'm going to use to scare Mike. Look at that face. That's a charcoal drawing of a, a little kid. I, I would assume it's from maybe the mid-1800s. 
Um, nothing really giving it away for me, but I don't know a lot about clothing and stuff. Somebody could probably tell for sure. Um, and that's really it. So now the hard part is going to be just if you want to window into how miserable this life can be. Um, this is the storage unit that we have. It's 40 feet deep and it pretty much looks like this all the way through. Like you can barely step foot in there. And it seems like every time we get two feet of space in there, it ends up being filled up with junk again. So I'm gonna see if I can get all this stuff inside there and go home for the day. So this is the painting that I was talking about. I found it at a flea market for $15. It's an original oil painting. You can see along the edge where the paint is chipping off the canvas. And it's pretty old. I think just based on the aging of the paint and also the color of the canvas in the back, the discoloration, how it's just dark brown, uh, the way the frame is pinned together. I think this painting is probably done between maybe 1880 and 1900. And the image is actually a famous image uh, called the Pharaoh's Chariot Horses. It was painted, I think, originally in 1848. So this is a copy of a famous painting, but it's an old copy. And I've looked around online and I found a few other old versions of this painting um, from around the time that I believe this painting is from and their value or they're being offered for sale uh, for prices ranging between a thousand and five thousand dollars so I really don't know what I have here but I'm very confident that it's well worth fifteen dollars uh, for this original oil painting so that was the majority of the stuff that we found up north and we'll try over the next few weeks to get some more information about the painting and the brass tray and a few other things and then we'll take the stuff down to the flea market down by New York and see if we can convince anybody to take it home with them. So thanks again for watching and if you like the videos don't forget to subscribe to the Treasure Finders YouTube channel.